everyone was just so pumped. Um, you know, we celebrated over the holidays there, and um, my wife obviously has made a lot of sacrifices um, for me to be able to pursue my dreams. Um, you know, not only as as a professional hockey player, but um, you know, going over to South Korea, she's followed me over to Russia, over to Switzerland. So uh, a lot of that hard work uh, goes, you know, with the family as well, with uh, you know my wife and kids. So uh, you know, I can't be uh, happier. There's a lot of weight behind the war the Olympics. Have you processed at all how big this event's going to be at all, or thought about how this is the biggest stage you're ever going to play on? No. Um, I haven't, and I don't think I will until I get there. Um, I'm going to be able to go to the, the opening ceremonies, and that's going to be an experience. Walking, you know, with fellow U.S. Olympians and with the flag and with everything that comes with that, with the other countries being there, and it's going to be insane. Um, it's it's bigger than hockey, you know. It's it's bigger than that. It's representing your country and having so many eyes on you at such a big stage and it's an opportunity that you know the guys on the team that got selected this year probably wouldn't obviously wouldn't have had if, if the NHLers uh, were going so it's an opportunity of a lifetime obviously for for all of us. Has your dad given you any advice? Yeah I mean enjoy it uh, he went to you know the 98 Nagano Olympics I was actually there rooting for Canada so it's going to be a little bit different this time. Um, yeah, he just said enjoy it. Uh, it's once in a lifetime opportunity, obviously, and um, just enjoy every second of it. From a hockey aspect, you've played on the bigger rink before. What's the difference you have to make in the adjustment going from North American rink to a bigger rink? Uh, there's actually a big, big difference. Um, you get a lot more space, a lot more time with the puck. Um, you know, it's 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 a lot different, but um, I, I enjoy playing on it. I think it kind of benefits my game with a lot more space and time to make plays so um, it's an adjustment that I've made before so I don't think it'll be too too much of an adjustment. How do you remember about the Olympics when you went as a fan for your dad so maybe not even part of the game but just being around that atmosphere what do you remember? Yeah I remember it's just such a different aura around the whole place like you walk around and you got you know the bobsled here you got the figure skating you got curling you got all this crazy stuff going on and um, you know, it's it's kind of like going to Disney World. You got so many options to go look at different things. That's going to be a great part of the opportunity that we get too, is we get to go see so many other sports and cheer for so many other other people. Um, you know, it's crazy enough that I got two other people that I went to high school with that are named on the U.S. Olympic team as well. The captain of the the women's team and then a, a guy on my team. So it's it's uh, it's crazy. It's going to be a surreal experience. With, with going into a team like this too, you guys aren't going to be playing games together beforehand. You're going to be just thrown in the thick of this. How are you going to have to make that adjustment? And also for you personally, how do you make the adjustment from going from mid-season hockey to essentially a playoff tournament here for a period? What are those two adjustments? You yeah, it's going to be different. You don't really, I mean, the team looks good on paper right now, but you don't really know how guys are going to mesh together until you get there. So we have four or five practices before the games start, but um, ultimately, our first game is going to be together is going to be the first game of the Olympics. So that's a little challenge, but um, I'm sure we'll overcome it. We'll, you know, put ourselves in a position to uh, succeed over there. I'm sure the, the the coaches have a game plan. We've been in contact already, so uh, we're going to be watching, you know, video of different teams and um, you know have your role defined before you get there, so you really know what to to expect going over there. Speaking of rules, rules too, um, what role do you expect to play on the team? Uh, looking from the roster, top to bottom, where do you think you fit on that? Um, I'm assuming from the conversations that I had that I'm going to be having the same role that I would have here. You know, I don't think they picked me to go over there to to be on the fourth line and and play that kind of role. I think they picked me to put me in a position to succeed and be on the power play and help them offensively. Um, so that's what I expect. I'm sure they expect me to produce over there. Um, and that's something that you know I want to, you know, I want to have that role. I want to be expected to produce, and um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. What's your schedule like then, Chris? When will you begin practice? Uh, I'm going over on the seventh. I think our first practice is on the ninth, and then our first game is uh, against Slovenia on the fourteenth, I believe. Um, Doesn't that seem crazy? Just thrown together like that, and uh, boom, go to the biggest stage in the world. Yeah, it does. But um, you know, that, that can benefit. You as well. You know, you get thrown right into the fire. You see what you get right away. So, 
Uh, all the teams over there are pretty much in the same position. Um, I know Canada's played in a couple of more tournaments than the U.S., but it's not been with the same guys or the guys that are going to be on the team. So I think it was more evaluation. Um, so most of the teams are going to be, you know, not playing their first game with their team until the Olympics. So uh, everybody's in the same position pretty much. Since the announcement was made and you getting messages from people and congratulating you, what have your emotions been like just taking everything in? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think surreal is the, the, the word that I'm going to be using a lot here. It's It just still feels like a dream to me. Um, like I said, I don't think I'll really fully get it until I get to the Olympics. Um, I really appreciate all the text, all the tweets that I've gotten from my fa fans and family and, and friends. Uh, it really means a lot, um, and it, it goes to show how much support I have. And um, you know, I'm really looking to uh, put on a good show for my friends and family and fans and um, hopefully come back with a gold. I know it's not to the same extent, but you got named to the All-Star Game here this week, too. Uh, you tying American Hockey League record. What's that mean to you to go, especially in all these different places, to, to get that honor again and be able to go to the U.S.? Yeah, anytime you get named to an All-Star team, it's obviously an honor, um, especially when you have the coaches and players voting on who goes that kind of the, the ultimate sign of respect is, you know, that your peers and, and uh, people that you're playing against uh, think that you're one of the top players in the league. So it's something that I don't take lightly. I'm very honored to, to go to the All-Star game and represent Hershey. Uh, you know, this is still going to be a month here until you go on over there, and this is going to be a tight race for this team. What do you guys have to do to start putting some wins together and, and maybe put yourself in a streak to get not only, you know, keep that 500 record and, and move on up, but get up the standings and gain some ground on these teams above you? Yeah, I think we just got to stay consistent. You know, when we play a good game, just kind of build off that. I think in the past or, you know, the beginning part of the season, we haven't really built off our wins. Um, I think that's something that we need to do here in the second half is kind of build off the momentum that we're, we're gaining when we do have those big wins and not kind of take a step back seems like all year we've been taking a step forward and taking a step back and not really gaining any ground. So um, just play more consistent. I think we'll be fine. Chris, what family members will be going over to South Korea with you? Uh, my wife, my two kids, uh, my parents, and my uncle are going over so far. So it's going to be a good experience for all.